Dear Bill and Phil, how's John? Hasn't been to school for the last week. What you got? Mumps, measles, or chicken pox? With that, I looked straight above the door, which was, used to be a stock whip hanging up there, and that's what we used to get flogging with. He didn't do that. He just said to Mum, you ring up and get an appointment in Ballina. And uh, Wednesday morning, we took off out of Korakai, down to Ballina, into the fisheries office down there. Walks in, and the fish inspector said, G'day, Bill. Good morning, Peter. And he said, there's a quid. Write him out a licence. And he's halfway through the licence, and he looked up at the old man, and he said, hey, Jesus, Bill, how old is he? He's 15. I was only 13 and a half. Never looked back. Dad would say, don't go here, don't go there. You'd, fit, you'd load up with dogfish or you'd load up with perch in May, June or July. And I thought, he's trying to keep me out of this area, so I'll go in one night and try it. I was sorry I did. I won't tell you what I got, but I'll tell you what, I didn't go back again in May, June or July. <laughs> My dad and his father and his father before him were bloody good fishermen. They could smell them like the dolphins. They taught me a lot. The things that dad taught me was, look at the sky, look at the clouds, see what any clouds tore around with the feathers, it's going to be windy, or you look at the sky and it's very red in the west and it's going to be a hot day tomorrow, so it'd be good for this or not so good for that. It took a bit of learning, but after a few dry weeks and that you soon picked it up. And then fellas knew what they were talking about. Because it was drummed into them, see? Like I was the fourth mob to get drained into it. I, 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 I had it easy. I had it easy. Megan used to come out in the punts with me fishing at night time, and in the launch we had uh, uh, two little bunks inside the boat. And she'd sleep in one, and you'd go and have a, have a shot and do that. And she'd come out and she'd look at the fish and things like that. Little bug used to stand on the headline of the net and let the fish swim out over the top. So oh, the poor fish, Dad, they're dying. <laughs> and they'd be white and worth $12 or $13 a kilo. And she'd be letting them go. I think it was back in 1990. We had a shot like the boys had over this one. We had about 20, 22, 23 tonne. And this person, just bellering up the beach, ah, yeah, kill it, all this and kill that. So I walked up and I said, there you going, pal? Good. He said, what are you going crook about? He said, kill all the bloody brim and all the white. And I said, OK, look, see my shadow, the sun on me? I said, you stand there, whatever I do today, you follow me. You can have all the brim and all the white you want. Yeah? I said, right up. So he followed me around for about two hours. He said, there's no brim and there's no white. I said, the bloody net's not designed to catch that, it's designed to catch mullet only. Oh, he said, I was told different. I said, you better start learning things, buddy, because I said, them nets don't kill everything. It's the same with work. You think you're right sometimes, and one of your men say, no, look, that's wrong there, or this is not right here. You just take a second, look at it. They're right, you're wrong. You're not always right. Not always. The best thing to do, as Dad used to say, just take a deep breath, son, just walk around and have a look before you open your mouth up. 